Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We did a new project in our warehouse. We decided that we wanted to insulate the walls, so we went with the insul barrier, vapor barrier insulation. We had had some uh, leakage through our walls. We even had part of our warehouse that we had to waterproof. So we decided to use the insul barrier as both a vapor barrier and an insulator for our warehouse. Wanted to do a time lapse. You're getting ready to see a time lapse of Dom installing the insul barrier in the warehouse. And then stay tuned after I'm gonna go over exactly what insulation vapor barrier is, some of the tools that we used, and uh, methods that we used to install it. Stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to basement, waterproofing, even uh, how to use insulation, vapor barrier, and uh, indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, follow us on Facebook, take a look at this time lapse. It's uh, pretty uh, cool to watch Dom work so hard and so fast. So uh, anyway, what I wanted to get into was what exactly is the insulation vapor barrier? This is a product that we started utilizing a couple of years ago. It is an R8.7. So technically it's not designed to put on foundation walls unless you fur it out. And I'll get into how to do that here in just a moment. But this is basically what it is. It's got a radiant barrier on one side, which, you know, I mean, unless it's, taken on radiant heat, it's pretty useless, but it is a vapor barrier and it does have uh, several layers of insulation. It's got a bubble wrap, it's got some foam and different things like that that you would utilize. Um, it comes in a uh, four foot by 25 foot, so it's 100 square feet, and it's easy to attach. As you saw in that video, Dom was able to cut around piping and do different things like that. And we decided to use the insulation vapor barrier over our R10 foam board because of the ease of installation in a situation like that where you had where we could do both vapor barrier and insulation at the same time. 
So normally when we encapsulate a crawl space or a basement, we would do a foam board and then a vapor barrier over it. This gives you the ability to do both. Now, if you're in a part of a country like we are where you need at least an R10, then what you can do, you can actually use a spray foam gun like we have on our DIY store along with a one component spray foam and this just sits right in that little part there and you would just create a bead of spray foam about every 24 inches or so and then you would apply the insulation vapor barrier over that bead and then that would give it an air gap and that air gap can actually bring the insulation vapor barrier up to an R12 or higher depending on how thick that bead of spray foam is. So it can still be used in a situation where you want to insulate your basement, your crawl space if you don't have access to the EPS foam boards that are available. And with the supply chains and different things like that that we're having issues with, we ourselves are having issues getting some foam boards and even the insulation barrier. So if it's not available on the DIY store right now, check back with us and hopefully we'll get all of that straightened out to where we can start carrying this back on our DIY store. The other thing I don't know if you noticed, but Dom actually used our uh, GX3 Hilti gun, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This is it right here. And as you can see, it'll hold uh, 50 nails, okay? And then it, we put a, a magnetic tip on it so that that way we put these washers on and the washer shoots directly into the insulation vapor barrier, gives it more surface. So the nail shoots through the washer and then attaches the insulation vapor barrier. This is a safety feature, so unless you're pushing on it, it's not gonna be able to shoot. It's a nice little feature. So he's going through, putting the washer on, taking the washer off, putting a new washer on, and uh, gives it more surface area to hold up. Versus foam board, you gotta use a different gun. It's a, a DX5 by Hilti, an EFIS nail, which both of those are also available on our DIY store. So if you can imagine having to put foam board up, and then shooting the foam board and then putting vapor barrier over it, the insulation barrier is, is both of those installed at one time. The most time consuming thing, as I mentioned, probably will be setting your spray foam beads to raise it off of the uh, foundation wall to give it a little bit more of an air gap so that you get the R value up. But that's pretty much it. So we, we're really liking this insulation barrier. It's a great product. It goes on pretty easy. It's a good insulator and it looks really nice. Foam board, EPS foam board, um, if our forklift hit it or something like that or we put a pallet up against it, you know, the beads of foam would actually fly off with the insulation barrier if we accidentally rip it or something like that. We just use some uh, seam tape and fix it. So it's a really cool design and product. We hope you like that video and we hope you like this video. Put a uh, like down below, we'd sure appreciate it. Share it with people if they got a warehouse. Now there's a, a new product out there that they can insulate a warehouse or their basement or their crawl space. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.